Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving, and since I don't actually have a turkey with me, I made myself a traditional Charlie Brown Thanksgiving feast. Toast, pretzel sticks, jelly beans, and popcorn. You guys know you wanted to try this the second you saw it in cartoon form. I already took a bite out of this piece of toast already, and admittedly, it's not as good as it is in cartoon form. Definitely not as good. So I'm just going to put this aside for later and talk about a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. This special came out in 1973 and once again involves Charlie Brown having to deal with another holiday that's poked its head around the corner and he always gets depressed around holidays for some weird reason. So he and his family are going up to their grandma's house for Thanksgiving dinner and Linus is invited to come along, although Lucy doesn't tag along even though she's at the beginning of the special. I don't know. But to make things even more complicated, Peppermint Patty calls up Charlie Brown and pretty much invites herself over, along with Marcy and Franklin, to have Thanksgiving dinner at his house. And because of the combination of Charlie Brown being too pathetic to not call her back and Peppermint Patty not actually listening to anybody, he is forced to make a Thanksgiving dinner at home, along with the help of Linus, Snoopy, and Woodstock. So like my review for It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, I'm kind of going to go all over the place. Not so much talking about the pros and cons, but more reflecting on what this special meant to me and what my memories are of watching it as a child or how it holds up as an adult. Because I got to be honest, I like this special more than It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Not as much as A Charlie Brown Christmas, but there are a lot of factors that play into me liking this special over the Halloween one. For one, the animation is a little slicker. I mean, this special has the advantage of being in the 70s rather than the 60s like the earlier ones were, but because the animation is a little more slick, it allows for a lot more great sight gags and visual comedy, more specifically with Charlie Brown's facial expressions. When I was re-watching this special, the one thing that had me laughing my ass off were all the facial expressions that Charlie Brown made. The very first scene, is when Lucy offers up the football for Charlie Brown to kick, and she just goes, Charlie Brown, or Charlie Brown. And then we just cut to Charlie Brown, who just looks so miserable, like, oh, god damn it. But he doesn't say that. He says, I can't believe it. She must think I'm the most stupid person alive. And he just kind of looks at the audience as he's saying that. And then there are other couple of moments where his face just says it all and how bummed out Charlie Brown is. Like when Linus tells Charlie Brown to call Peppermint Patty back saying that this Thanksgiving dinner is not going to work. And he doesn't because he's Charlie Brown, but also Peppermint Patty just doesn't know how to listen to people. He just has this hilarious depressing expression where he goes, I'm doomed. So just a lot of the facial expressions had me laughing hard. Uh, I like the music better than in the Halloween special. It's once again by Vince Guaraldi. Unlike with the Halloween special, there are a few more recognizable themes in here outside of Linus and Lucy. There's the obvious Thanksgiving theme, which I play around the house every Thanksgiving, obviously. And then there's probably one of the weirdest songs in the entire Charlie Brown series. It could almost pass as a stoner song when you get right down to it, which is Little Birdie. Why do you fly upside down? I mean, I guess it makes sense because it was the 70s, but to really reinforce the statement that this could be a stoner song, it takes place during a scene where Snoopy's setting up Thanksgiving dinner, and then for some weird reason, he gets into a fight with a lawn chair that just magically comes to life. If that doesn't scream what a stoner would see, then I don't know what will. You'd really never get an idea of how bizarre Snoopy actually is until you watch this special. I mean, he was weird enough in A Charlie Brown Christmas and It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, but right here, Snoopy is just bizarre to the point where he's almost trolling people because he's the one who really makes the Thanksgiving dinner. And as I showed you beforehand, it just consists of buttered toast, pretzel sticks, popcorn, and jelly beans. No actual turkey, no mashed potatoes, no cranberry sauce, no pumpkin pie. It's just the most bare bones 
dinner you could actually come up with. And then at the end of the special, what gets me every time is they all head to grandma's house for Thanksgiving. Snoopy and Woodstock are left behind. They go to Snoopy's doghouse where Snoopy pulls out this huge turkey that he made for himself and Woodstock and they proceed to eat it. And to make things even weirder, Woodstock, who is a bird, starts eating the turkey. And it's just weird that a bird would be eating a turkey, but... I mean, Woodstock doesn't seem to have a problem with it, but that ending just has me laughing hard. He had this massive turkey he could have shared with all the kids. It would have saved a ton of stress on Charlie Brown, but no, he just saves it for himself and Woodstock, and in the end, they all get this. Yeah, way to go, Snoopy. One of the most frustrating scenes in the entire special that sticks out to me is when Pepper and Patty first calls Charlie Brown. She invites herself over to Thanksgiving saying that her dad's out of town and that he said she could come over to his place for Thanksgiving. And during the whole phone call, Charlie Brown is just like, well, I, uh... He just doesn't have the balls to say, yeah, that's not gonna happen. And Pepper and Patty just talks all over him. Then she calls back and says, Hey, you know what? I'm actually bringing Marcy with me. We won't cause any problems. Just make sure to save me a drumstick and the turkey neck when you get there. Who eats a turkey neck? I, I didn't even know you could eat a turkey neck. I thought you just saved it for turkey stock if you're making soup. At least that's what we did in my family. And then she calls one more time and says, Franklin's coming over. Charlie Brown doesn't even get a chance to speak. And he's like, I think I'm losing control of the whole world. And then once they actually arrive to the house, Thanksgiving dinner is served and it's served with this. She throws an entire fit about it. And Marcy pretty much just calls her out and says, now wait a minute, did he invite you here or did you invite yourself? I know Lucy can be more mean, but Pepper and Patty just kind of walks all over people, tries to be nice or thinks she's nice, and she might not even be aware that she's walking all over people. She just doesn't really think about anyone but herself. She even sends Marcy to go apologize on her behalf. That's just how much it irritated me. I don't really know how much I have to say about this special. Again, this is kind of me going all over the place, but it's more me reminiscing about the stuff I liked about this special because the special does hold a special place in my heart. All the big Charlie Brown specials do. And like with It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, if you haven't seen it, get off your ass and go see it right now. Again, I like this better than The Great Pumpkin. Not better than the Christmas one, though, and that review will definitely be coming the closer we get to Christmas. I'll put it up on Christmas Day. And that's my review for Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Now I want to hear what you guys have to say about the special. If you've seen it, what did you think? What's your favorite Charlie Brown special? Does this look any good to you in live action? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page. Follow me on social media. And until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one and happy Thanksgiving, everyone, or happy Turkey Day, whatever your preference is. Just eat better than this, please.